Hi, in this video we'll have a look at the new Docker model runner and we will see how to interact with locally running LLMs from within the Docker CLI as well as from within your application code. My name is Kevin Wittek and I'm a senior engineering manager for the AI runtime team here at Docker. I'm going to demo the new Docker model runner feature to you. It allows you to run LLMs locally with the same ease and ergonomics as running containers. There can be many reasons why you want to use a local LLM. For example, you can't or don't want to use a cloud hosted LLM maybe because of privacy concerns, and can also act as a great way to speed up your inner development loop, since you can interact with your local LLM with minimal latency. This is the first iteration, and it's currently in beta, available today as part of Docker Desktop, supported on Apple Silicon. We are already working on enhancements, including expanding to other platforms supported by Docker, like Docker CE or Windows. This is just the beginning, and we are excited for you to try it out and keep trying it out as we continue to ship new capabilities with each Docker and Docker desktop release. Share your feedback so we can keep delivering what matters most. Please be aware that this feature is currently released as a beta version and under ongoing development. Feedback is appreciated and welcomed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We've got more exciting videos coming up showcasing innovative ways to use Docker. Let's first check out how to use the new Docker model CLI command here in my terminal. We can just run a LLM locally with the same convenience as running a container. Let's try it with a small model, a model family from Hugging Face that is remarkably lightweight. So similar to running container, you now get this new keyword model. So we have Docker model run and now just put in the OCI coordinates. In this case, it's AI, small for the repository name and then the tag. And as a tag, we have the actual details of the model. So 360 million parameters for bit quantization using k-means algorithm. And that's just a naming scheme for us to get the uh, get the tagging right. It's nothing that is enforced at the moment. So as you can see, the model gets automatically pulled from Docker Hub, just as any Docker image would get pulled. And once we have it locally, the run command will drop you in this chat interface and you get the usual chatbot experience, just in this case with everything running on your local machine. So let's ask it something. What are you? And we see it's answering super fast. It says here I'm a chatbot and so on. So what you're used to from those uh, chatbot-like experiences. Let's drop out of the chat interface and we can also get a list of all models that have already been pulled on my machine, docker model list. So you can you can see here all the details um, of, of those models we've pulled, the amount of parameters, quantizations, also the size, it was here a very small model. You also can see I have a bigger model here, the Quen model with seven billion parameters that is much bigger in size, four gigabyte here. But of course, interacting with models from CLI is only one part of the puzzle. The rubber meets the road once we want to develop our own Gen AI application and uh, need to integrate against an LLM. Docker Model Runner has you covered for this as well. So now let's look at an example using a JavaScript Next.js application integrating against the LLM using the OpenAI SDK. In this case, I will use Docker Compose to launch my application. I have here my Docker Compose project. Uh, it's a single service that's building this JavaScript application and it's reading this environment variable file here. Let's look at this. As you can see, I've already modified the OpenAI base URL and the selected model. The base URL is now referencing a special endpoint available to Docker containers, model runner, dot docker internal and then engines v1. This endpoint exposes an OpenAI compatible inference server pointing at our docker model runner. In addition, you can see the model we are going to use, AI Gwen 2.5. These are docker hub coordinates. The cool thing to note here is that it's just referencing an OCI artifact and that is then present on Docker Hub under these coordinates. So let's have a look at the JavaScript code. And as you can see, we are just using the value of these variables here in the standard OpenAI SDK to initiate a client. Now let's start the app using Docker Compose. Docker Compose up, all right, starting up. And once it's running, we can visit the exposed port in a browser. Let's load the site, local 3000. And I'm getting here also a full Gen AI application, chatbot-like experience. What are you? Okay, now it takes a little bit of time to get the first answer because this much bigger model is loaded into VRAM. And yes, I'm getting here the answer. I'm Quen, large language model created by Alibaba Cloud. And we see now subsequent requests will be much faster since the model is now already loaded into RAM. Um, let's say, how are you? 
So we get now a very fast answer because everything is nicely hardware accelerated here on my Apple Silicon machine. This is just the beginning. With Docker Model Runner, we are making it easier for developers to bring AI model execution into everyday workflows, securely, locally, and with a low barrier of entry. With each Docker desktop release, we continue to unlock the new capabilities that make Gen AI development easier, faster, and way more fun to build with. Be sure to follow the Docker blogs and our release notes to see our continued enhancement and try the Docker Model Runner out today. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Submit feedback directly in the product or in our Docker community Slack. If you want more demos like this, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for our upcoming videos where we'll show you the new ways you can use Docker.